Here with Jenny's softball head coach Susan Anderson after a perfect weekend for the Jennies. Jenny's going 5-0 and down in Durant, Oklahoma. Coach, first of all, congratulations on the great start and uh, give the fans a little bit of a recap of the weekend down in Durant. Uh, well, it, like you said, it was a great start going 5-0. and uh, We started off with Arkansas Monticello, who's nationally ranked number 12. Uh, Lacey Dixon was our starter in the circle, and she pitched phenomenal. Um, she had a two-hit shutout against a nationally ranked team, um, and the defense just played really well behind her. And the lone run came from our freshman, Jackie Prater, a solo home run. So it was a big, big game for our entire team to start off the season like that. Um, after Arkansas Monticello, then we played Cameron, and Megan Shalom had the circle for us in that game, and she had three hits. She gave up three hits, and same thing with our defense behind her. We had another shutout, plus we had a run roll. So it was really great to see our bats coming alive that second game. Um, so fantastic. And then the last game was Sarah Espy. We went with all of our upperclassmen the first day, and Sarah had a nice game inside the circle. I think she gave up four hits. And uh, same thing with our bats, you know, we just kind of kept stringing some hits along. And the thing I loved was that it was just really well balanced. It wasn't like the same people coming up with the big hits. And um, it was just really nice to see that we had that many people come up and make big, big plays. And uh, talk a little bit about the adjustment you all had to make this week. And of course, you all had some wacky weather down there the entire South Central shootout got rained out Saturday and Sunday. And then you guys ended up playing two games Sunday morning, kind of talk a little bit about the adjustments your team had to make going into those early games Sunday. Uh, I think the biggest thing was that we were just excited to keep on playing. Uh, with it being the first weekend out, our girls were just way excited about getting out on the field and actually playing against competition. So yeah, we had a little change in schedule. We got to play, um, let's see, who do we play at 9 o'clock? We uh, played I Texas Permian Basin, and that was a team that we weren't regularly scheduled to play. Um, and we went with our freshmen um, just to kind of give them some innings under their belt. Uh, Jackie Prater started it, and then Katie Shockley came in to finish that game. Um, and it was one of those that we just kind of um, – Jackie had a good performance. She just kept getting better as she went. She started off a little shaky, but it was just nice to see her kind of settle in. And then Katie Shockley came in and did a phenomenal job with her first debut out inside the circle. Um, and then we played Southeastern Oklahoma. Uh, we got down 3-0 early on in the second inning. And it was just really nice to see the character of our team to be like, OK, let's dig our heels in and let's get after this and just not just be like, OK, game over. It was just really nice to see them keep going and it was great to see because Alex Grayer came up with a mm -hmm. big big hit um, for her uh, first home run of the season with a two run shot to tie up the game so and then JD Young came up with the other home run to, for the ended up being the game winner uh, the thing about this team is that it's a great team effort like every single game and especially the last one because we had some people that got hurt and we had to move some people around it was just a great team effort and it showed a lot of character for our team and like you said it's a great start to a great season all righty coach well going into this upcoming weekend you're going to be in uh, Denton Texas and uh, you're going to play in the Texas Women's University Tournament uh, got some more tough competition this week uh, what are you going to stress in practice this week going into this tournament uh, I think the biggest thing that we're stressing right now is just one game at a time, just really focusing on what we need to do. And this weekend really set the tone. Um, our biggest thing was just really getting good pitching performances from our pitchers because a year ago we didn't have that, and that's the biggest key was that we had great performances from our upperclassmen. Our freshmen did the job that they needed to do. So we're just really going to keep stressing what we need to focus on, and that's getting better and stronger every time inside the pitching circle and just having that great defense behind them and then just having quality at-bats, just really working on what we need to work on.